Hey, Andy. Hey, how are you? Great. We're good. Tell us a little bit about you. Sure. I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I'm an optician for an eye doctor. Glad that you're able to work, because I know times are, are crazy right now. Exactly. Who are you staying with? I live alone. I actually just moved in like a week ago. It seems like you're doing some new beginnings, got a new spot. Mm -hmm. So how can we help? Tell us about your relationship with Dade. So me and Dade, we met on Tinder February 2019. Who messaged who first? He messaged me. <laughs> what was his opening line? He said, your freckles are beautiful. I've never seen a black girl with freckles, so. <laughs> We hit it off like really well through the messages. And then um, a week later, around like February 24th, he said, like, let me take you out on a date. Where did Dade take you? He took me to a restaurant called Mango's. We had a great time. We had like so much in common. He really wanted to know about me and like my family, what I like to do. We're both into like sports. And he was also in firefighter school. That was important to him. But I just felt like we were connected with each other. But then the girls at the front desk, they were giving me like these mean mug stares. So then I asked him, why are those girls looking at me like that? He said, oh, well, I used to work here. And my ex used to work here also. I didn't really want to put too much thought into that because everything was just flowing so well. So I just kind of brushed it over. Dave said that he was looking for a relationship and I do want to get married. I want to have kids. Also, I am Christian, and he has Bible verses tattooed on him and like a cross. I knew he was spiritually connected with God also. Were you very upfront about your beliefs and your values? Yes, and I told him I'm not necessarily waiting for marriage, um, but I do practice you know, celibacy, and he was totally okay with it. And I knew instantly, like, this is it. Did you think it was weird that he took you to Mango's when his ex worked there? I thought it was extremely weird. Do you know who she is? Yeah, I know who she is. How? Um, he, he told me about her, but like he didn't really go into detail. I creeped on her like Instagram. I would have creeped too. Her name is Ashley. Mm. <sighs> Rachel, what, you don't like Ashley's? No, I'm just like, it's always an Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Here is her Instagram. Um, is she a mom? He did tell me that his ex had a baby. By him? He didn't say it was by him. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and follow her. I didn't really think too much into it because we were having such a great time. The date went great and after that first date, we were pretty much hanging out constantly all the time. Then like around late March, he said, Hey, do you want to come meet my family? That's pretty soon. Oh yeah, like a few weeks. Wow. Immediately, I thought this is it. Like the relationship is gonna take the next step. Right. Do you move fast in relationships? I try not to, but I just feel like we had like a deep connection. So when you go to meet his family, who all was there? Dade's mom, Shannon, and then his sister, Allie. We all just got along really well and just hit it off. I stayed over there till like five in the morning, literally. His mom stayed up till 5 a.m. too? Yes. She was like smiling, like nonstop at me. I just knew right then and there his family loved me. Sounds like your relationship with Dade was really headed on the right track. Yes. I had prayed to like God and I said like, you know, if he's the one, like, let me know. Is that usually how you make decisions, you know, you go to God, you ask him for guidance. Oh yes, for sure. And it, I get my answers. God said like, you know, he's the one. So for him to just ghost me, like, what did I do? We've never had two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Oh. Oh. 